As many Excel 2007 and Excel 2010 users already know, one of the enhanced conditional formats available in those versions of Excel is that of traffic lights. As shown on the screen, traffic light conditional formats allow users to segment or to stratify data into three tiers, red light, yellow light, and green light. But what if we only wanted to see just the data that meets the green light criteria? How can we modify the conditional formatting rules in Excel to change the way traffic light conditional formats are applied? Fortunately, the answer is quite simple. To begin, select the range of data to which you want to apply your conditional formats. From the Home tab of the ribbon, choose Conditional Formatting, Icon Sets, and choose the Traffic Light Icon Conditional Formats. Next. With the cells to which the conditional formats were applied still selected, again click Conditional Formatting on the Home tab of the ribbon, followed by Manage Rules, to open the Conditional Formatting Rules Manager dialog box currently shown on the screen. With this dialog box open, click on the icon set Conditional Formats and choose Edit Rule. This opens the Edit Formatting Rule dialog box. In the Edit Formatting Rules dialog box, click the drop-down arrow next to the yellow light icon and choose No Cell icon as currently shown on the screen. Repeat the process for the red traffic light icon as well. Note that if you wish to change the calculations driving the application of the conditional formats, you can do that here also. Having edited the conditional formatting rule, click OK to return to the worksheet. And upon doing so, you will see that only the green traffic lights remain. The conditional formatting enhancements made to Excel 2007 and Excel 2010 turned a good feature into a great one. Now, with just a little knowledge of how to modify the conditional formatting rules, you can use this powerful feature in ways you might not have thought possible. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.